Greetings, everyone. Ancestor message. Is that all that it takes? Is that all that it takes for you to be happy? You don't know how to love each other without it. Money. Without money, you don't know how to love each other. So instead, what do you do? For the love of money, you abandon, rob, rob people from their hope, their dreams, their joy, their laughter, rob them from their families. You steal, what do you steal? You steal our gold and our land. You steal our children. You separate our families. You steal our homes, our land, our royalties. You steal our innocence. Molestation, rape, incest, forced incest. You stole those things from us. So without money, there is no restoration because you need it. You, you fiend for it. There is no equal. And look what it has caused this nation. A lot of pain, sorrow, dysfunction amongst households, disorderly, fashioned. We are angry. I am angry. But yet I still try to act like a normal citizen and keep a smile because you know they already ready to say that you, you act kind of wild. <laughs> but I am angry from the greed that caused betrayal, separation. For the greed that caused famine, poverty, and murder, I am angry. Now we are struggling, even as a married couple, emotional trauma from our lifestyles and the conditions in which we was forced to live in is make it hard for us to communicate and love one another, even when we are married, knowing that we both are sitting there worrying ourselves to death about how can we get our family out of poverty. But just that worrying alone between him and I causes separation. I am angry. You want me to sit on here, beg like a dog? You want me to get to the point where I'm sleeping with my children on a curb, alone, sick and infested in my temple with all types of poverty, sickness, diseases? That's what you want. It makes me so upset to know that I have children, beautiful children, who are now growing up with these thoughts in their mind because of the absence of other family members. You don't think you know that? Of course you do. You know your absence leaves those children mind feeling what? Vulnerable, abandoned, Lonely, fearful, is that what you want? I'm so angry that children are being born in this world, not being loved, with no intention to truly love them. And even the ones who really truly love their children, they struggling to have something because the world don't wanna see you together, you see. 
They only want to help you when you separate it. Leave him, leave her. Because of the ignorance and the destruction they plot upon our youth and our children's lives. Do you know the collateral damage that causes for children growing up without their father, without no mother, without their grandparents in their life, teaching them and guiding them and praying over them and laying hands on them and sharing those memories along with them? But do you know what it makes a child feel like when they don't see grandma, when they don't get a call from Amy's, uncles, You want me to play with you? See, cause you never know how my ancestors have me thinking, you see. Hell, I don't even know how I'm thinking half the time. So you need to be ye aware when you try to channel me, my ancestors will leave you confused and discombobulated. Do you hear me? Because the pain is so real when I look at this fake shit. I got children. Do you know the pain I carry, the anger, raising these children alone, me and my husband struggling? Do you know the pain when I look at my children and I know they want that relationship, that family that they deserve? But because of you and your plots to, to annihilate me, God's collective, God's chosen, because we all have a story, you see. See, you didn't know that what God was already prepping, what he was already planning amongst in your life in the presence of your enemies. They didn't know where God was taking you, you see, because they wanted you to stay there, stay stuck, stay remembering the lies. This nation is wrapped around a major consumerism company, affiliation, where all they do is buy, sell, and trade human lives, little babies, children, for profit, for money, for inheritance. And it's all wrapped around the lives of these enemies called religion. They sold you a story and you bought the script. You tied to all of this corruption and evil that is being covered up right up under law enforcement, right up under your nose, right up under the church. Who would think it's the church that's murdering and hurting people? Who would think that? This is church. This is where we come to pray and gather along and sing these hymns, right? They would never think that it's the church that's hurting everyone, will they? No, of course not, because they believe in what we tell them type of thing. It's time to awaken. The pain is real. The bloodshed is real. The stress, the trauma, the remembering is, of this is real. The struggles of my people, of my life is real. I didn't come here to slave and break myself down and kill myself down for you. I came here to collect what was mine and tell y'all the truth. We want redemption. We want salvation. We want justice is what we want because I'm telling y'all, this is so real. Our children are hurting. I don't care what no one say. You watch people around your kids. Don't trust everyone. Get the hell away from people who leave you out in the cold. Get away from people who are easily to be controlled. We are the castoffs. We are the black sheep. We are the ones who would not bow down. Therefore, they called us rebellious. We serve a, a supreme being. You hear me? A supreme being, the source of it all. Before the beginning, it was already there. That's who we serve. We don't serve no religion, no system, no movement. Because we know those are man-made things, but we serve the most high. And our children are suffering. And I smile to keep from crying. 
but I have a lot of unspoken words and it will be continued to my story. I was born without a name. I was an unwanted child. I don't know who my real father is, but I believe it's someone in the family. I believe I was lied to by the ones closest to me. And I believe I was placed in this game, this system, to not waken up and know the truth about this stolen inheritance, this will, and the bloodshed that is on our ancestors crying from the grave. God woke me up and showed me things that I wasn't ready to see. So I'm going to tell you, sleep with one eye open and always keep a watchful eye.